everyone. My name is Berkeley and I'm a Youth Services Librarian here at the Lynchburg Public Library. And today I wanted to welcome you all to our very special Valentine story time. This story time will feature an array of books, songs, games, and rhymes, all celebrating Valentine's Day and love. I hope you enjoy. This book is one of my favorite books that celebrates love. It's titled Viking in Love and it was written and illustrated by Doug Kangle. Stig was like most Vikings. He loved fresh air, hearty stew, and of course, adorable kittens. But unlike most Vikings, there was one thing Stig did not like. I wonder what it could be. The sea. It's not like he was scared of it or anything. Okay, maybe just a little bit. There is a lot going on out there. One day, as Stig was taking the kittens for a walk, he saw the most fearless Viking he'd ever seen. And she said the sweetest thing he'd ever heard. Hey, I'm Ingrid. He tried to respond, but before he could, the sea swept her away. Oh no. That night, he couldn't sleep. He had to get his feelings into words. He wrote all kinds of super mushy stuff and even added a little heart when he wrote her name like this, Ingrid. And as you can see here, the I is dark, dotted with a little heart. Stig returned to the beach with a note. He waited and waited and waited, but there was no sign of her. Just when he was about to give up hope, he saw her, but she was too far away. He folded the note into the shape of a ship and let it sail, but the waves returned it to him. Oh no, I wonder what he's gonna do next. He folded into the shape of a bird and let it soar, but the wind returned it to him. Stig could only think of one way to get the note to Ingrid, and as much as he didn't want to do it. I wonder what he's going to do. Meep. He tied the note to a kitten. <gasps> At least the kitten has a little floaty on. But that did not go well either. Aw, it looks like the kitten might be afraid of the sea too. As he was apologizing, Stig saw one final way that he could get the note to Ingrid. He was determined. <gasps> looks like he's facing his fears. The sea tried to knock him back, but Stig pushed on. He thought that he would be okay as long as he held on tight. But the sea wouldn't let him. Oh no. I wonder who saved him. Do you think maybe it's Ingrid? We'll have to see. It is Ingrid. She got the kittens too. That was very nice of her. Stig was finally able to hand Ingrid the note, but the sea had ruined it. He was crushed. Stig felt just like the note looked. That was until he heard, hey, I'm Ingrid. This time, the sea couldn't stop him. Hey, I'm Stig. I wrote this for you. 
Ingrid's note was the sweetest thing that Stig had ever read. She even added little hearts like this. You see the little hearts? Stig and Ingrid were like most Vikings. They loved fresh air, hearty stew, and adorable kittens. And together, they conquered the sea. The end. Hi friends, Emily here with the Valentine's Day song. We're going to sing a version of bingo using these letters. H E A R T. Do you happen to know what that spells? Right, it spells heart and hearts are a symbol of love. So they are also a big part of Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is all about letting those who mean a lot to you know that you care and that you love them. So I made you all a Valentine that says, we love our library friends. We here in Youth Services absolutely love our library friends and that's you. So I thought I would do a song dedicated to you all and you all can sing it to those you love as well. So if you are not sure how bingo works, I'll quickly explain how it works before we start the song. So just like bingo, where we say B-I-N-G-O, and then take away a letter with each new verse, we're going to do the same thing with heart. So after we sing with all the letters, we're going to take the H away. Then we're going to take the E away and so on. And every time we take a letter out, we're going to substitute in a clap. So this is my little clapping um, symbol. And this is to remind you and me that it's time to clap rather than saying that particular letter. Okay, so let's go ahead and sing together. Here we go. I made a valentine for you. The heart shape says I love you. H-E-A-R-T. 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 The heart shape says I love you. Now we're going to take one letter away. We're going to take the H away. And this time we're going to clap. Instead of saying H, we're still going to say all the other letters, but not the H. Here we go. I made a valentine for you. The heart shape says I love you. E-A-R-T. 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 The heart shape says I love you. All right, let's take away the E, and we're going to clap. So now we're going to clap for H and E. All right, here we go. I made a valentine for you. The heart shape says I love you. A-R-T. 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 The heart shape says I love you. Good job. Now we're going to take away the letter A and we're going to put another clapping signal. All right, here we go. I made a valentine for you. The heart shape says I love you. RT. RT. RT, the heart shape says I love you. All right, now we're gonna take away the R. We're almost out of letters. All right, so we're gonna clap how many times? Four. One, two, three, four. Here we go. I made a valentine for you. The heart shape says I love you. T. 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 The heart shape says I love you. <gasps> Friends, we're going to be out of letters. <gasps> Our last letter, the letter T, is saying goodbye. And we are going to put the last clapping symbol in its place. So we are going to clap five times. Are you ready? I made a valentine for you. The heart shape says I love you. T. 
the heart shape says I love you. Yay! Give yourselves a big round of applause. That was fantastic. So be sure to tell everyone who means a lot to you how much you care today. You can do it with a song, a story, um, in your own words. Make them a valentine if you want. However you choose to celebrate is great. And I will see you guys again soon for another song. Hello friends, Victoria here. I'm the Youth Services Supervisor and today I'll be sharing a story called Slug in Love. You've just heard the story of Viking in Love. Now let's see what happens when a slug falls in love. This book was written by Rachel Bright and illustrated by Nadia Shireen. There goes Doug. Doug is a slug who needs a hug. Oh. Hey, Doug. Need a hug? Look at Doug's face. He looks really excited about getting a hug. And he's covered in chocolate ice cream. Yep. Doug is a slug in need of a hug. But who wants to hug a slug called Doug? Oh, no, no one, that's who. See, this bug says, no, not him, not me, not you. Grimy, slippy, squelchy, slimy, icky, mucky, yucky, sticky. So on plods Doug, poor slug. But wait, here is a snail, a snail called Gale. Ooh, ooh la la. She is grimy, slippy, squelchy, slimy. She is icky, mucky, yucky, sticky. She's the one for lonely Doug. Doug the slug who needs a hug. Look at this. He is imagining all the romantic adventures they can have together. See, they're driving in his convertible. They're having a romantic candlelit dinner of leaves. They're sitting in and eating, and it looks like falling asleep in a giant tub of popcorn and posing in front of the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Wow, a snail like Gale, it cannot fail. Ah, uh, says Doug. No, wails Gale. It seems our master plan did fail. Oh no, Gale does not want to hug Doug. So on goes Doug, our lonesome slug, who's never going to get a hug. Oh, Doug, look at poor Doug. It's raining on him and he's crying. Oh, Doug. But you never know how, when, or why some love might just come flying by. Look at this. Look at this beautiful ladybug who's come along. She's even sheltering Doug from the rain with this giant leaf. This is Doug. He found his bug and now he's super duper snug. Look up all of the adventures they're having together. And Doug doesn't have to imagine it. Let's see. Looks like they are reading together in the grass. They're having a yummy picnic, and they're talking or singing about how much they love each other, and they're having fun flying and just sitting in the grass and leaves. This is Doug. He got his hug. He is a slug. A slug in love. So sweet. And that is the end. I hope you enjoyed this adorable story about Doug the Slug. 
and I'll see you again at the end of story time so we can play a fun game together. This book is titled Sweethearts and it was written by Jan Carr and illustrated by Dorothy Donahue. This book is a great celebration of Valentine's Day and teaches you one of the things you can make for the loves of your life, Valentine's. One heart on the bathroom mirror, one heart in a shoe. See, he's hiding it in a slipper. One heart by Mommy Smug to tell her I love you. That one's a pretty heart. One heart in an envelope, mail it far away. It says to grandma. You see, he's putting it in the mailbox to mail it to his grandma. Cut out lots of valentines. Hey, look, a heart bouquet. Lace and oil and tissue scraps, glitter, ribbon, glue. Someone's hiding heaps of hearts. Bet you can't guess who. I think it's that little panda hiding all the hearts. One heart by the baby's crib, one set near her plate. One heart by the doggy's dish. Don't eat it, Spot. Too late. Oh no, what a silly puppy. One heart tucked inside your sleeve, playing heart and seek. Find some more, a pocket full. Daddy, did you peek? Daddy finally guesses it. I fooled him from the start. Mommy plants a kiss and tells me I'm their sweetest heart. The end. Just like the characters in this book, you can make Valentines to mail to your friends and family and whoever it is that you love. Just like the characters in our Sweethearts book mailed Valentines to those they love, in this rhyme, I'm going to get you to help me mail five Valentines cards to our different animal families. So we have five pretty Valentines waiting at the store. Let's buy one for the Fox family. And now there are four. Four pretty Valentines right there, you see? Let's buy one for the cow family. And now, there are three. Three pretty valentines said, I love you. And let's buy one for the panda family. So now we have two. Two pretty valentines. This was so much fun. Let's buy one for the squirrel family. Oh no, but then there's only one. One pretty valentine sitting all alone and the bird family felt sorry for it. So they brought this one back home. Thank you all so much for helping me mail all of our Valentine's cards. I sure hope our animal families enjoy them. Hello again, friends. I am back with another Valentine's Day song. This one is a classic. It's called Skin em a Rink. And it's just a really sweet, short little song to remind people you love them, not only on Valentine's Day, but every day. So let's sing it together. Here we go. Skin a rinky dinky dink, skin a rinky. 
thank you so much for joining me for that song and for joining us for our Valentine's Day story time. We still have a little bit more to come. So thank you all so much. We love you. Bye. Hello again. It's time for our game. We have some envelopes here on the board. So let's go ahead and count them. There are one, two, three, four, and five envelopes. Very good. Let's go ahead and look at the envelope colors. There is a pink envelope, a purple envelope, a green envelope, a yellow envelope, and a blue envelope. Excellent. All right, now I hear there is just one Valentine though and I need your help trying to find it. And all we need to do is say this simple little rhyme together. And it goes like this. Valentine, Valentine, just for me. Are you in the, and then we choose a color, envelope, let's look and see. And that's all we need to do. Now, obviously, I am here at the library filming and you are watching from home or wherever you may be. So I won't be able to hear your guesses but please do play along at home or wherever you are, and we'll see if you and I guess the same colors. All right, here we go. Valentine, Valentine, just for me. Are you in the, let's see, are you in the green envelope? Let's look and see. No, there was no Valentine in the green envelope. Let's try again. Valentine, Valentine, just for me. Are you in the, are you in the yellow envelope? Let's look and see. No, there was no Valentine in the yellow envelope either. Let's try again. We are just down to pink, purple, and blue. Here we go. Valentine, Valentine, just for me. Are you in the, are you in the blue envelope? Let's look and see. No, there was no Valentine in the blue envelope. Let's try again. Will it be pink or purple? Valentine, Valentine, just for me. Are you in the, let's see, are you in the pink envelope? Let's look and see. Yes, there it is. There it is at last. Our sweet little heart, a little heart-shaped valentine. And it says, can you read what it says? Yes, it says, I love you. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, now let's make sure there's nothing in the purple envelope. Let's see, is there anything in the purple envelope? No, there was nothing in the purple envelope. We just had our one Valentine, just like we thought. All right, now let's try again and see if we can find it even faster. All right, our envelopes are all back on the board and our Valentine is hiding again. Here we go. Valentine, Valentine, just for me. Are you in the, are you in the yellow envelope? Let's look and see. No. There was no Valentine in the yellow envelope. Here we go again. Valentine, Valentine, just for me. Are you in the, are you in the blue envelope? Let's look and see. No, there was no Valentine in the blue envelope. All right, we are down to pink, purple, and green. Where will it be? Let's try. Valentine, Valentine, just for me. Are you in the, let's see, are you in the purple envelope? Let's look and see. Yes, yes, it was in the purple envelope. We found it even faster this time. And it still says, I love you. And that's still true. Here is our sweet little Valentine that you are so good at finding. All right, now let's just make sure there's nothing hiding in either of these envelopes right now. Is there anything in the green envelope? No, there's nothing in the green one. All right, what about the pink envelope? 
No, nothing in the pink envelope. We still just have our one Valentine. And really, that's all we need. I'm just going to put these envelopes back on the board as we say goodbye. So thank you so much for tuning in for today's Valentine story time. We hope you had a great time watching, just like we had a great time filming it for you. We'll see you again soon, friends. Bye.